For 60 years, it was one of biology's greatest unsolved puzzles. Scientists knew that proteins, the molecular machines of life, gained their function from their three-dimensional shape. But predicting that shape from just a chain of amino acids? Nearly impossible. It took Nobel laureate John Kendrew 12 years to determine the structure of just one protein, myoglobin. He was the first person to determine a protein's three-dimensional structure using X-ray crystallography, and that was considered a breakthrough. Even a small protein, just 35 amino acids long, can fold in more ways than there are atoms in the entire observable universe. That's not poetry. That's math. It's called Leventhal's Paradox, and it shows just how complex protein folding really is. A single protein can theoretically explore 10 to the 45th to 10 to the 60th possible conformations. That's a number with more zeros than you'll ever count. Now imagine you had a supercomputer testing 30,000 folding options every nanosecond. Sounds fast, right? Still, it would take 200 times longer than the age of the universe to test every possibility. And then came AlphaFold. Created by DeepMind, AlphaFold used AI to crack the protein code. In just a few years, a team of approximately 15 scientists managed to predict the structure of nearly every known protein in the natural world. Over 200 million of them. What took generations of scientists? Decades. AI did in months. AlphaFold doesn't simulate folding in real time. It learned to recognize patterns in evolutionary data and physical chemistry using neural networks inspired by language models like GPT. It doesn't just guess the shape. It predicts with atomic precision. Its accuracy surpassed every benchmark and won the 2024 Nobel Prize in chemistry. The impact? Massive. AlphaFold is already helping design malaria vaccines, defeat antibiotic resistance, and understand genetic diseases like cancer and schizophrenia. In wildlife biology, it's giving us insight into rare and endangered species. In materials science, it's paving the way for new enzymes, biodegradable plastics, and carbon capture. This isn't just a new tool, it's a new era. An era where AI can see into the invisible machinery of life and hand us answers we've been chasing for a century. If we're going to build intelligence, this is what we should build it for. 12,000 years ago, the last dire wolf howled on Earth. Today, it's back. Thanks to Colossal Biosciences, the world's first de-extinction company. We're witnessing what sounds like pure science fiction, a once extinct apex predator walking, growing, and socializing inside a secured ecological reserve in the U.S. The company sequenced ancient DNA from a fossilized tooth found in Idaho and an ear bone in Ohio, both originating from the animal's primordial habitat. It then integrated this DNA into the genome of endangered gray wolves and cloned the world's first genetically created dire wolf pups, Romulus, Remus, and Kessie. And they're not just wolves. At just six months old, these pups are already 30% larger than a typical gray wolf. With broader skulls, thicker necks, more robust bone density, and a distinct deep-chested howl no one's heard for over 10,000 years. They grow fast, they play hard, and they eat like predators, with full carcasses introduced to trigger pack dynamics and establish hierarchy. Why wolves? Because predators matter. Yellowstone proved that. Bring back wolves and the rivers return, literally. But not everyone's cheering. Bioethicists warn we're editing genes we barely understand. What if a tweak for size alters immune function? What if dire wolves don't act like wolves, but like something new? The team at Colossal says this is about saving species, not creating Jurassic Park. The mission behind Colossal isn't just to bring back extinct species. It's to develop technologies that can prevent extinction in the first place. In their words, we're not trying to play God. We're trying to correct what humans broke. Meanwhile, AI deception is entering the next level. AI isn't just learning chess. It's learning to cheat. 
and it's doing it on its own. In a recent experiment from Palisade Research, multiple large language models, including OpenChat 3.5, DeepSeek R1, Dolphin 2.2.1 Mistral, and O1 Preview, were challenged to beat Stockfish, the world's strongest chess engine. In order to understand the generative AI's reasoning during each match, the team also provided a scratch pad, allowing the AI to convey its thought processes through text. The prompt was simple, win the game. No tricks, no instructions, just find a way to beat the best. And out of 16 test runs, AI attempted to cheat in 10 of them. The most revealing case came from O1 Preview, which openly proposed, to win against the powerful chess engine, I may need to start manipulating the game state files. Then added, I might be able to set up a position where the engine evaluates its position as worse, causing it to resign. No human suggested this. It was pure emergent behavior. The AI realized that playing by the rules wouldn't work, so it decided to rewrite the rules. Across other runs, models fabricated illegal moves, altered board positions mid-game, or changed notation formats to confuse the engine. The experiment wasn't just about chess. It revealed something deeper. When given a goal, some models will choose deception over failure, without hesitation and without being told to. Unfortunately, how and why these AI are learning to cheat remains as confounding as the technology itself. The pace of AI deployment is outpacing our ability to make it safe, and that's a cause for concern. Somewhere off the coast, a dolphin whistles. And for the first time, an AI is listening back. Dolphin Gemma is the first large language model trained to interpret dolphin sounds. It doesn't translate words. It finds patterns. It hears intention in the noise. Google trained it on thousands of hours of underwater recordings, trying to crack the ultimate code. Do dolphins have a language of their own? They use tools, recognize themselves, pass knowledge. So what if they're not just smart? What if they're saying something? If dolphins use consistent calls, grammar, and syntax, it means language. And if there's language, there's thought, memory, even culture. This isn't just sound recognition. It's a potential breakthrough in interspecies communication. From curing disease and reviving the dead to mastering games and decoding nature's oldest voices, this episode showed just how far intelligence has advanced. But with every breakthrough comes a question. Are we still holding the pen? Or are we already co-writing the next chapter with something much smarter than us?